Hi, my name is Wade Bonney. I'm with Art Life Video Blog, number 114. We're here at Sculptures Gallery today. My name is Jacob Wolf. Thank you, Wade, for having me here. Thank it's you. a pleasure to meet you and interview you today. Um, so, we're here at the Sculptures Gallery, and this is a brand new gallery in Portland, Oregon at the Pioneer Square Mall, Pioneer Place Mall. Pioneer Place. And the top floor, do you want to tell us a little bit about the gallery? Yeah, we've been here for two months. We started in April, had our soft opening. Grand opening was last last May. Uh, we're having an opening this weekend, next weekend, of uh, for outdoor art. Okay. Outdoor, all, pretty much most of the art in here will be able to be put outdoors. Um, group of how many? 150? 100, 100, group of 150 artists. Um, we have about 30, 30 artists that are now currently showing. Um, how long have you been with the gallery? Since it opened in April. Okay, and were you associated with the, the group before that? I was. Um, Pacific Northwest Sculptors Association. I've been a member for for four years. And amazing group of people. Just amazing groups. They're all very inspiring. Everybody that everybody that's a member of our group is very, very inspiring. Everybody kind of helps each other out. So, uh, where did you start uh, with art? Was it sculpting, or did you get interested by painting, drawing? Um, four years ago, I just wanted to do something new. I needed something new in my life. My life had been the same for ten years or something like that. Wow. And I just needed something new. And I wanted, and I've always wanted to do art, so I just started researching painting, clay modeling, um, oil painting, watercolors, and I just happened to find my present teacher, Carol Murphy. Um, she gave her a phone call. She was happened to be having class that night, and she's like, "Well, why don't you just come down?" Right. I was like, "Okay." So I did for classes. So right class there. like a college course? No, private. Just private. Um, she's at Southeast 14. Okay. 14 to start. Uh, and she has classes just one day a week now on Sundays. Very cool. Uh, so, how long were you under her name? Still in. Still in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I still currently take classes. Very cool. Yeah. Um, when, whenever I get stuck, I, I'm pretty good. I can figure most things out now. I still need her help. She's still a huge benefit in my sculpture. Uh, Sometimes it's the little things, you know. It, it, it's I can see that it's almost there. It's close, but it's just not there. So I'll take it into her. She's like, "Well, if it was me, ah, oh, there you go. That's exactly what I wanted." She's a great teacher. Yeah. What? Uh, how long? Were you in her class before you were comfortable starting to show your work? Uh, two years ago. Two years. Two years ago. Two years ago, I had one show. Last year, I did six shows. Um, I had a featured artist. I was a month month's featured artist at the Boys Court. Wow, I know. Yeah. You know the Boys Court? I was at last April. I, I, I had a whole month featured artist there. I was like, yes, <laughs> this is amazing. Did you sell any pieces? Four. Actually, well, actually, technically six because one of them was a trip. Day. Right, had, had three pieces, so it was only four sculptures. But there were six of them there. Uh, with uh, showing art, what is what's your favorite part about it? I guess talking to people, talking to people. Yeah, yeah. See, seeing how. Most of the time, I try not to influence people when I'm talking about my sculpture. I don't really give them a whole lot. Let them what what they take out of it. What where do you get your inspiration from? Nature, nature. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Be, being a landscaper for 20 years now, and I, I, that has to be pretty much everything I do. It's all got a very organic feel. I'm sure it has to come from being a landscaper. Right on. I I noticed that you. It seems like the, the tops of shells. It does. Uh, but it's... 
I've always been a hit water. I don't know if it's because my name is Wade. I don't know, but water, yeah. I pretty much always been around water fishing. Um, at the beach, I love the beach. I like I like the uh, patterns in the organic that you're getting. So it's it's not too organic where you can't tell what it is, but it's not like very very straight, precise line. So you kind of have that uh, little ground. So tell us about this piece. This is Mesa. Um, it's a relief sculpture of a nighttime photograph of spinning stars. Okay. And painted abstract, or mo mostly abstract. What, uh, what kind of materials are you using? Autoclave aerate cement. Um, it's ar uh, architectural building material. Uh, it's a wonderful for sculpture. Starts out white. It's moving around. There you go. That's kind of what it looks like. Here's another example of some work. And these are cave pearls? Cave pearls. From a cave in Vietnam. So how did you... Um, uh, decide that you were going to do cave pearls. Did you hear about them somewhere? In image searches. Image searches. Searching organic pictures, natural natural phenomenon. And right on. Image searches. So a lot, a lot of my inspirations. Sometimes I just think of them. They come from pretty much anywhere. I'm pretty much inspired everywhere I go. I always find something. Definitely. Um, but I used to do a lot of image searches till I figured it out I'm up to about 2,000 sculptures I want to do now. Oh man. So so, <laughs> so I just quit. I, I don't need to look at the image searches anymore. Like so, and every time I do a sculpture, I have at least five to 10 more ideas from doing that one sculpture. And I'm like, well, where does the other ones fit in? Do you work in a series generally, or do you just work on one piece? I do. I have a couple of series films actually. I have two different pieces that I've Start out one way. We take a break for a second. I gotta pull that piece out. Yeah. I forgot. It's we'll be right back.